hunt to the, through the grapevine. Through the grapevine. There the grapevine. we go. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. I got to stay out the way. I am not the host of this show. Well, say it again. <laughs> My show come up later. Damn. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to play a quick disclaimer first. <laughs> so Aaron Messi applaud. over there. <laughs> we got to applaud Brother Carter for self-reflection. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a, a quick disclaimer, and then we'll get started with our Through the Grapevine. All right. All right. Copyright disclaimer. Under Title 17 USC Section 107, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. And we're back. All right. So for the Through the Grapevine today, this has been a case that has been all over the Internet today. Um, The Carly Russell case. So she was uh, she had been abducted. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly abducted. Allegedly, allegedly abducted. That's why we do the disclaimer. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and everything we say is our opinion. It is, we're not speaking facts. Our opinions and our opinions only. Exactly. And exactly. Mm-hmm. So Carly Russell was. Uh, she was driving on a highway, mm-hmm. and allegedly, 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 she saw a child. Allegedly. And um, like was calling the police and called a family member saying, Oh, I'm going to stop and help this child. Mm -hmm. And she said that she was like lured into this guy's car, um, like a van type of thing. I think it was like an 18 wheeler or something like that. And then she was abducted for a couple of days. She said she tried to get away. Um, There's like a couple weird like details. Mm -hmm. Um, And then she came back on foot to her house two days later. Mm. Yeah. And whenever she came back, you know, police were kind of investigating because obviously you were abducted. They want to do some investigation on that. Mm -hmm. And things just weren't adding up. Um, They had like some footage of of like some highway footage of the supposed alleged abduction and there was no child seen. Mm -hmm. Um, And so people are kind of saying that she was just trying to (laughs) her and her boyfriend, I guess around the rocks. And she just wanted to see like, would you miss me if I was gone kind of thing. What happened to the baby? It was never, there was never a baby. Allegedly Allegedly, there was never a baby. I think my opinion on it, because actually uh, last week or when the show for issue first broken, I, but I actually said, you know, my heart goes out to her because I really, right. I just can't imagine anybody wanting to just fabricate something like that, especially in the times that we're living in. Mm-hmm. And so my first thought is always I have daughters, you know, they're mm-hmm. driving. A, oh, my God, this something can happen like that. Mm-hmm. The fact that she took up uh, allegedly the police, uh, you know, 911, all of this research to find her over a man Mm -hmm. allegedly not wanting her anymore or having issues. I just think it's stupid. And now you done pulled your mother, your family members and all of this. And it's just your father. It's just sad. So that's my thought. When did the abduction part come after she resurfaced? No, that was apparently when there was a call, she was supposed to be on the call with her mother or someone. Mm -hmm. And, then her call. She had planned. Then she a, went on a then a call just went dead. Yes, but she had mm-hmm. planned this whole thing out. The police officers. The police That's officers said that said. they found, you know, where she had been searching on the internet and all of this. So she actually took time to plan out a lie. Yeah, mm-hmm. she had searched something like, "Do you have to pay for an Amber Alert?" Yes, and what age group is a kid? I mean, what age group or something like that that they will look for <clears> kids <throat> or something? Yeah. So you had any thoughts on that? Let's talk about the psychological. Right. Mm -hmm. So I I did. So, you know, in the beginning, when I first heard it, of course, my heart went out to Mm -hmm. the family and I was praying that she was definitely found. So I was very concerned with the situation. Mm -hmm. But then as the story unfolded, I was like, okay, please don't tell me this little girl. Yes. um, Did something like this. Mm -hmm. It was very concerning to me. And then I went into the thought about, okay, she did this possibly for attention, which brought me to the fact of her mental health. Yes. Mm-hmm. And which is very concerning. Mm-hmm. Yes, someone would go this far to do something like this when there's so many things going crazy in this world already. Mm-hmm. And to to get this type of attention, mm-hmm. that means there's something else going mm-hmm. on. That's deep. That's mm-hmm. very deep. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not possibly not new. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it's an underlying issue that has probably not been addressed. Um, been addressed. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and she can speak on it. Nicole can speak. That's Dr. <laughs> Hartnett right. over there. She, <laughs> she's speaking on something she can talk about. Right. And, and, and she was probably triggered by something if something did happen allegedly mm-hmm. by her and this boyfriend mm-hmm. um he could have possibly cheated on her he could have been giving attention to someone else mm-hmm. or a family member no one paying attention to her mm-hmm. now she gets all this national no attention, attention. Wow. and here we go yeah mm-hmm. it's a it's a cycling thing she gets a rise she gets all this attention she gets what she's seeking mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you know and she probably May not even realize that there's anything wrong with this. Yeah, probably don't. And the thing is, is that, uh, you know, the fact that she is a young, Mm -hmm. apparent, educated Mm -hmm. African American. You know, she was a nurse in school. Mm -hmm. So it definitely, I would agree with you. It's definitely something to do with the mental health. Out to her, even though she caused all of this Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. wasted a lot of taxpayer money Mm -hmm. and all of this, my heart still goes out to her because. This has to be something, something, some, deep. something yeah. deeper. Mm-hmm. You know, I was someone on the, <laughs> on the, you know, you had a few people on the internet and I mm-hmm. think that we can be insensitive when you Very. don't get, Definitely. but you know, if it was one of your family members or it was a loved one, right. Hey, you have to kind of fall back and say, Something's not right there. Right. And you show some compassion. And, and you know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to show yeah. a little compassion. Initially there. you show compassion, but after hearing the story and after she come back to life, uh, Right. I say that's a crack move, shit. Well, well but speaking not, of crack, okay. <laughs> speaking of crack, <laughs> okay. okay, that was a good segue. <laughs> that was, okay, okay, well, come on in here. Let me hear. See, see my thought is that uh, the crack addiction from mm. the eighties. Uh, we have a, a bigger cr- uh, addiction now. Right, right. And that's mm-hmm. an addiction to attention. Yes. Mm-hmm. When you look at Instagram, this whole Instagram oh world, TikTok God. world. Everybody wants attention. And when you look at some of the memes, memes, I guess that's what they call them, that people have put out about this girl. It's hard. They want attention. They just want to put attention. The worst, hardest. The, I call them keyboard gangsters. Yeah. Oh, they, my that's God. My Come thing. on, I <laughs> say it. Yeah. Stuff out yeah. that they can put out. <laughs> right. Uh, and yes. To like, get clicked. As the good doctor said, yeah, the young lady, uh, if she if this did occur, like the, the police are saying, mm-hmm. yeah, she she's wrong. But something else is going on and she needs some help. She needs some help. And I think that's the part that is so easy to get lost in this thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Because because she really needs help. You want to look at her and say, oh, she did this. She did that. But sometimes we show more grace. Let me just go and put this out here. I'm going to call some of the African-American community out. Mm -hmm. We're quick to show more grace outside of our own race Mm -hmm. than we will with our own. Now, Mm I'm not saying that we don't do some things raggedy just like one other, any other race. But on this one here, clearly this girl is the, she has some issues. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I would just hope that we can show some love and grace until we can, this girl can get some help. Yeah. Right. You know, get more facts going on. I'm sure it's not just about the man. Even if it is about the man, that's already something wrong. Mm-hmm. If you exactly. just want attention from this man that mm-hmm. bad, it's already something going on. Yeah. yeah, craving yes. attention. Period. Is just yeah. That, that self esteem is yeah. definitely out of way. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So Aaron's putting the card up. She's telling me it's time for cut the crap. Well, that, that is a cut that the is crap. A cut the crap. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Cut, we need to cut these likes cut out on social media. <laughs> yes. We cut these likes yeah. out, and everybody needing to have have people like them that don't know anything Think about you. Yeah. They oh don't my. know nothing, nothing about you. About but you need these random strangers to like you for what? For what? I-